So I'm making this video to show the first uh, actual print that works with this printer. As you can see, it is finally working. <laughs> and I I have changed from I had some cheap PLA that I was trying to print and uh, it was oozing and not working at all. So I turned to my this is my filament my made by myself from um, pet bottles you can see in my previous videos i will continue to make some more and it's finally working so i'm painting this cube it's a hollow cube i'm using super slicer and octoprint i'm painting at 260 degrees I tried with 250 and it wasn't working with 260 works or fine because my setup apparently can keep around 250 so I've made a I've made a bit of upgrade with my electronics as you can see the wires look better now not such a big mess on this there is still a bit of mess here but I'm still working to make it better the bed is for now disconnected because I'm waiting I'm waiting for some circuits to fix it. Problem is my power supply can only take 250 watts and that's the power the bed draws and it uh, it kills the power supply. But I will make a video on how to fix that. So see it is printing and it's really working this time. This is an overhang, no support, so uh, I'm pretty sure it will fail, but we will see. See, there's no printed part on this printer. I'm using this hard cardboard, it's made from the hard cover of a book. I'm using also here for end stop because I'm using software end stops and you can just move this wherever you like same here for X and Y this is a piece of thick uh, plexiglass it comes from the back of a broken uh, monitor they use it as a diffuser for the light for the LED lighting and Let's see what else do we have, that's about it. I started to use these corners that makes very straight lines. And those. So let's see how the top is going. So this is a, it's a hollow, a hollow cube, it has no supports inside and it still goes pretty well I'm using these silicone spacers instead of springs because they isolate more anyway the bed is not heated for now so it's not a big issue oh, I've also used this uh, this tape because it's easier to see the plastic but also helps with the adhesion as you can see here it's when I made the first attempt and uh, when I try to print again on this side it's not sticking anymore so I moved it a bit to, to the left so I think this is let's let me turn off the line it's at print time left two minutes Yeah, I need to I also have here some LED light that to improve filming in the next videos. But this is my advance for now. And I also have around here the Raspberry Pi that I will soon try with Clipper. But I'm very pleased. So this is the first print and it's also made with uh, the filament I made. This makes it even great. Okay, I think the print is done. Yes, 100%. Let me see if I can get it. So this is the first print, like I said, I'm a bit excited.
second one. Yes. So this is it. Not bad for the first print. It felt a bit on the layers here because the temperature was uh, set to 15 it couldn't keep up so I, I adjusted manually in octoprint ok so for first print come on focus I'm quite happy it has a bit of wavy here but it's very straight overall and I'm planning to do a lot of upgrades I even have uh, a sensor for clipper for removing vibrations okay this is it hope you enjoyed